Um, I like excitement. Same thing that I carried over me from the military. I wanted to do what I deemed as the most exciting thing. And then after the military, whether that was a firefighter or EMT and in the hospital setting, I kind of looked for that same thing where it wasn't, um, you know, just the uh, same job every day, just something different and something that would pique my interest every single day. So, and that's definitely the emergency room. I like to tell people that I was very naive. Even in, I worked in other parts of the hospital and I had no idea what happened in the emergency room. And I just assumed if you were going to the emergency room to seek help from nurses or doctors that of course you would be kind. You're, you came in for a reason. You need somebody else's help. So I thought, well, why would you be anything different than kind? Um, and I found out that unfortunately a good percentage of the time people are not necessarily kind. I have been kicked, punched, spit at, um, verbally called names, very recently um, been slapped in the face and I even say that this campaign that I'm doing right now, it, it's not about me, it's about defending females that I work with. We're not just talking about them getting hit. What I have to witness, um, have to have them called and whether it be, you know, sexually explicit or nurses getting touched in a certain way, that's what I struggle with and that's what I hope to get out of this. It's not because I'm worried about my own well-being, it's kind of for people to understand that nurses did not sign up for that. I don't think there was too many women saying, I want to become a nurse um, and, and have that happen to them. I truly don't think a lot of young women who want to become nurses and are going to school for it, I don't think that they know that this goes on the way it does. In my occupation, we deal with quite a lot of homeless people, and that's where I kind of try to spend some of my time is with them and doing charitable actions for them. I even spent um, a night in a homeless shelter just to try to get a feel, and I speak with homeless patients um, and just say, hey, can you share with me you know, what you're dealing with? And sometimes it feels like homeless people just come to the hospital you know, just to get off the streets, and that is the case with a lot of them. And um, sometimes homeless people contribute to the violence in the hospital setting. And what I have found to be true, not being an expert on it, but my personal opinion is um, being homeless is a, goes without saying, it's a very sad situation. The time that I have spent with them, um, you're treated very poorly. I was when I, you know, went out on the streets um, to spend time with them. It's a very mean environment. You have to worry about your items getting stolen. We have patients all the time that had violence committed against them. Even when you're in places where you believe to be a um, safe place in homeless shelters, you're not necessarily treated kindly there. And what I have found is that some homeless people will come to the hospital to be around courteous people, you know, and I've been told by them, if I could come to a hospital and have three hours of somebody treating me kindly, you know, being warm, um, then some, that's what I'll do to be in that environment. And then sometimes you'll find homeless people that didn't get what they were seeking. Some, you know, we have some responsibility in the nursing occupation uh, for empathy. And some people don't understand that some homeless people, if they had to choose how their life turned out, they wouldn't choose that. They didn't want that you know, to be a part of their life. And sometimes we, for good reasons, have to get them out of the door of the hospital because those beds are valuable. Where I fail is I don't always report incidents because I still struggle with the, you know, if you want to call it the manhood part of it. You know, I did not necessarily get hurt by somebody hitting me. Um, and I struggle with that feeling, like am I showing signs of weakness by reporting this or going through the trouble of filling out a report. I'm kind of hypocritical in that way. I want everyone else to understand what's happening, but I myself struggle along with many nurses that I work with and coworkers struggle to, is this worth the time? Maybe you can be a little bit kinder to your nurse or to your doctor or to the police officer. We work hand in hand with police officers that work the streets and I have yet to meet a police officer who I didn't see the empathy or the kindness in. They understand the situations. But maybe if you can understand that, you know, what a nurse deals with all day long, 
maybe you can be the person that can make that exchange, that encounter, kinder. Just to acknowledge that for nurses, I get what your job is about. I get how you feel. Maybe for the spouses of the nurses that come home at night, just to ask them about what their day was like or to give them a little bit of comfort is a really big deal. But that's what I hope to accomplish, is that people know that it exists. Again, I worked in a hospital for six years before I went to the emergency room. I didn't know that this went on. So I can only imagine that there's so many more people out there that aren't aware of it as well. And maybe you can treat them a little bit kinder and have a little bit more understanding. Your family member's sick and sometimes that makes the situation more sensitive, but maybe you won't take it out on the healthcare worker who's genuinely trying to help you.